is Robert Pichet. I am a Canadian airline pilot with more than 40 years of experience flying in Canada. I am honored to join a coalition of Canadian pilots against foreign pilots working in Canada to make this short video in order to share our concerns with you. Over the last few years, some Canadian carriers that operate flights mainly to the Southern Sun destination have been hiring foreign pilots to operate a large number of these flights during the winter season. This allows them to reduce their training costs since foreign pilots are already qualified on the aircraft type they use. But this comes to an extent of hundreds of Canadian pilots who are unemployed and who are denied these jobs. Normally, these carriers should address the increased need for pilots by hiring additional Canadian pilots, which is the common practice among Canadian airlines. The hiring of a pilot involves a significant investment for an airline as the pilot must receive trainings specific to the type of the aircraft flown by the airline. Training can cost several tens of thousands of dollars. This training is what we call a type rating. For example, an airline pilot qualified on the Boeing 747 along with several thousand of hours of flying time in his logbook is not allowed to fly a Boeing 737 unless he has completed the necessary training. The established practice in the industry regarding pilot training is that pilots obtain their commercial licenses through private or public training and once they are hired, it is the airlines that provides and pays for the type rating required for the operation of the aircraft. Over the last few years, some companies in Canada have found a way to avoid paying for the type rating. Instead of hiring Canadian pilots and training them, they simply contract European pilots already qualified on the type of the aircraft they operate. They have no problem recruiting these foreign pilots since winter is the slower season in Europe and a large number of pilots are available there. This practice is made possible thanks to the complicity of several levels of federal government that validate licenses and grant work permits to foreigners, even though they are Canadian airline pilots who could fill this position who are currently unemployed. Under this scheme, more than 200 foreign pilots were flying Canadian registered aircraft on flight between Canada and certain destinations during the past winters of 2011-2012 and 2012-2013. It is important to note that, according to our information, during the temporary assignment here in Canada, these foreign pilots do not pay taxes in Canada, do not contribute to the employment insurance nor the Canadian pension plan. Regardless of the fact that Canadian rules require that workers contribute to this program and file a Canadian tax return. Meanwhile, Canadian pilots who were unable to get hired by this company for simply not having the type rating are collecting unemployment insurance at the expense of you, the Canadian taxpayer. You may be wondering why the federal government who governs the airline industry accepts such a practice. So are we. Let's now look at the issue about how the Canadian Aviation Regulation deal with the subject of pilot licensing. According to the Canadian Aviation Regulations, all pilots flying a commercial Canadian registered aircraft must hold a Canadian license. Obtaining this license requires a lot of study and time, since the pilot must pass several exams on subjects as diverse as navigation, weather and air regulation. The foreign pilots who come in Canada for the winter do not have Canadian licenses. Transport Canada issued them a foreign license validation certificate valid for one year. Right. However, the regulation clearly states that holders of a foreign license validation certificate may only fly for limited purposes such as a pleasure flying, ferry flight, flight training, or firefighting, and the rules do not permit the order to operate scheduled commercial flights. We reported this to Transport Canada in November 2012 by means of the Civil Aviation Issue Reporting System and they didn't receive any response to our concern. It seems that Transport Canada, the government agency responsible for enforcing the law, ignores its own regulation and let this company operate commercial flights flown by foreign pilots who do not own a Canadian license. This flight carry you and your fellow Canadian to your winter holiday destination. Another aspect of the case is the principle of reciprocity. The company employing the highest number of foreign pilots also take advantage of a program administrated by Immigration Canada called the Reciprocal Work Permit Program. 
This is, this is a program under which foreigners are allowed to work in Canada if the Canadian company hiring them has an agreement with a foreign company to employ an equal number of Canadians to work abroad for an equivalent time period. The airline that is abusing the program led Immigration Canada to believe some of the Canadian pilots go fly in Europe for European carriers when it's not actually the case. While it does send some pilots to Europe, they are not employed by a foreign company as required by regulations. They remain employees of the Canadian carrier since they are operating a Canadian registered aircraft on the lease to the European carrier. As a result of being misled, Immigration Canada has permitted hundreds of foreign pilots to come to Canada and fly the planes of this Canadian airline. It is against the rule and will not fly all parties concerned, but the practice continues today unabated. The coalition is asking federal authorities to put an immediate end to this practice. A petition signed by 2,500 pilots walking across the country was delivered to the Minister of Immigration in spring 2012. Various pilot associations have also lobbied federal authorities, but so far there is a little to, to show all the effort. We decided to produce this video so that the Canadian public will be aware of the situation and inform about the problem. The next time you book a ticket for your sudden getaway, please ask your travel agent to make sure that if you are flying on a Canadian carrier, that you are flying with one that employs only Canadian pilots. If you are booking directly with the airline, don't hesitate to ask them the same question. The answer will allow you to make an informed choice and possibly to make an alternative plan for your travels. Thank you for your time. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or comments.